Hi, this is Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. Today we're going to do something a little off topic. Um, it's not going to be Mindstorms. We're going to use a micro bit chip to remote control some robots. I built a few platforms like this one. Uh, this is a small one called uh, McQueen. And this is a reused one. It's an old sumo robot. A very nice laser cut design. I ripped the um, Arduino processor out of it and I replaced it by a micro bit. It's just a quick and dirty fix uh, with an um, edge connector up here. Um, just to show you guys how it works and then um, you are creative enough to make this one more definitive if you manage to get your hands on one of these awesome awesome laser cut sumo robots for the remote control i have used an ordinary micro bit and onto the back i have attached a power um, power board it's basically um, a three volt cell that is connected uh, via three screws and it's got a tiny 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 on off switch here you can turn it off and then it goes hello at least you can turn it on I'm sorry and this power board me power also has got a speaker on it so you can make noise with a micro bit okay let's get to it the first thing we'll do is we'll program this one to function as a remote control and we will use the accelerometer so if we tilt it it will go forward if we tilt it back it will go backward and then we'll steer with the sides let's get to it okay now programming the remote control is very simple we're just going to use the micro bit radio um, for one let's uh, start up the micro bit by showing an icon for me, that's a nice check if the power is on and everything is okay. I think um, this is a nice icon to show that we are in remote control mode. Uh, then we're going to use the radio. Um, first, we're going to set the radio group. Radio group one is fine. And then um, we are going to send the um, the tilt over the radio all the time. So for this, there is the command radio send value. Um, let's use it twice. Then we're going to use the accelerometer and we're going to send X and Y. Okay, you can test it. So let's call this one MGX and let's call this one MGY. And you can test it here. So um, the X is 1000 if you tilt it right. The X is minus 1000 if you tilt it left. The Y is minus 1000 if you tilt it forward and plus 1000 if you tilt it backward. So we're sending X and Y over the radio all the time. And um, let's save our program, program, let's call it remote control, save it and put it onto the micro bit. Next, we're going to program the micro bit that goes inside this driving platform. We'll start with the same driving platform that I used in my last remote control video. So I'm going to take it out for convenience. While it isn't strictly necessary, you can also program it inside. Um, but let's take it out for convenience. Now the next thing to do is build the car side of things. So let's make a new project for that. Okay, so on start, the first thing we're going to do is set the radio group set it to one just like in the remote control and um, make sure that we show an icon so i like to show an icon so i'm sure i'm running the right program on the brick okay then in the radio group again we are going to do an event hook 
like an event hook uh, whenever a, a key value key value pair comes in um, if such a key value pair comes in over the radio um, we have to find out what value and what key that is so we're going to uh, look it up um, for comparing the keys to a certain string we have to do a pretty convoluted thing in make code so first we have to compare and then we have to evaluate a string of text and so what this thing does is it compares one string to another and if they're equal it returns zero so if both are equal it returns zero it's a pretty strange way to compare two strings but it works so in this case let's compare the key the name oopsie let's compare the name There we go, to the, um, the name that we gave on the remote control. Okay, if that is the case, we are going to save the value. Let's make some variables. Um, let's put this one backward because um, the positive side on the accelerometer Y was backward and a negative forward so let's call this one backward and let's make another variable that we're going to make turn right then um, we're going to make the left motor which will be the calculated value and the right motor okay so those are all the variables i need now um let's set the backward to oh i need another variable this one value okay so if the name is y so the, the if we move over the y-axis we get forward and backward so that's the backward value and then here if we see mgx which was the name that we gave to the other accelerometer value and we're going to put that value into right because that's going to be the amount of we are turning right now let's mix backward and right into uh, new variables so let's make a little calculation here so let's set the right motor to a little calculation Math. Um, okay, let's make a few of them. We are going to reverse the forward value. So if we reverse backwards, we get forward. And um, let's copy this. Let's add the turn value. Turn right. if that worked so if we do minus one times backward we go forward and the right turning amount we have to uh, subtract that from the right motor to turn right okay now let's do the same thing for the left motor okay the left motor and then we are going to add the right turn amount so now we have made sure that whenever um, a key value pair comes in we detect which key it is and put the value in the appropriate 
local variable. So put value either into backward or into the right turning amount. And then from those two values calculate the specific motor speeds for left and right. Now let's set the motor speeds. Um, we can do that in the forever loop because we want to set the motor speeds continuously. For this, we because um, the motor speed is set on two pins, and depending on which pin is zero, that turns that shifts the direction. So um, on the robot that I have here, uh, the let's see, the left motor is on pin zero and pin sixteen. So let's set the pins. Analog right pin zero and pin sixteen. Um, let's see if that works. We are going to compare. <coughs> and we are going to compare what uh, uh, yeah we were setting the left motor so if it's larger than zero we're going forward let's guess that the pin zero stays at not zero and the pin 16 stays uh, at the some more math absolute value of the left motor okay so you can only put positive values into um, a pin um, this could be a nice first uh, program to see if the, the the remote car at least starts moving forward when I turn my um, remote control let's see how that works It's downloading, you can see the light flickering. Okay, the icon shows, so the program is running. Let's see what happens if I turn on my remote control and tilt it. I think we made a mistake. Let's see where the bug is. Ah, maybe I should turn on the power of the, the battery power. Okay. <laughs> Turning on the power is a good idea. So what happens now if if I tilt this one forward, the left wheel starts turning backwards. So I exactly reverse the pins, but that's okay. We can fix that. Um, let's make a new program here. So let's turn off this one. And turn off that one. And make a new pro. Okay, apparently we reverse the pin, so to go forward, we want to have the pin 16 set to zero and the pin zero set to the value of the motor. That's good to know. Um, and now that we know this, we can also make the left motor um, go backwards. So let's put this one in there. Copy it, paste it. So I'm going, if it's not larger than zero, it must be smaller than zero. In that case, we want pin zero set to zero and pin 16 set to the value. Um, and while we're at it, we might also try and do the right motor. Why not? So let's copy the whole thing and change it over to the right motor. In my case, the right motor is connected to pins 12 and 8. So let's guess that this is 12 and this is 8. So in that case, this must be 8 and this must be 12. And let's see if the right motor now goes if we guessed right and the right motor goes the right direction oh yeah we have to change these values too of course 
Okay. Let's uh, give our script a name. We'll call it RC car. Download it. And burn it to the micro bit. Okay, it's been burned to the micro bit. Let's turn on the power of this uh, board. Let's turn on the power on the remote control. It's booting. Oh, so we guessed the right wheel, right? So let's see if we did the turn rate. Yes, and the turn rate is right too. So that's cool. We can take this car for a drive. Now we have built a remote control car. Okay, that's total awesomeness with two micro bits, um, this um, driver board uh, from Kitronic and just two motors, some batteries here. We can build a remote controlled car. We can now uh, go on and also read the tachometers and maybe add some switches and ultrasonic sensors, but that goes too far for now. Um, I'm just happy with my remote controlled micro bit car. Bye!